this is just a quick video to show you how to change your zoom settings to allow you to record to your local computer instead of to the cloud so i'm here at the zoom login screen just at zoom.us and i'm going to click on the sign in screen and I'm going to punch in my TU email address and my password. And as I log in, in many cases, it will automatically default to the profile page. And if it doesn't, just over here on the left-hand menu, click on the profile page. And you can see here that my department is CEHS because I have an account in the uh, College of Education and Health Sciences sub-account. Yours may say something else here, and that's perfectly fine. From the profile page, what you want to do is we're going to want to change our settings. So if you go over to the settings option on the left-hand menu, and then across the top you'll see meeting, recording, and telephone. And if you click on recording, and then we're going to scroll down. What we want to do is we want to change the way in which the automatic recording is set up. First, you can actually turn off the automatic recording. Personally, I like to have it on, but you want to change it from record in the cloud to record on the local computer. And the reason you want to do that is the amount of storage space that is available in the CEHS sub-account in Zoom is limited and the amount of storage space on the TCUS main account is extremely limited. So if you record on the cloud, in many cases you won't actually get your recording because once it has reached its storage limit, it just stops recording. Whereas if you are recording to the local computer, what happens is it records to a file and then downloads that file directly to your computer. Uh, this is particularly useful if you're using your own computer to create the recordings. So if you're using your own desktop or your own laptop. In fact, the only time it's advantageous to record to the cloud is if you're recording from a classroom computer. So I've clicked on record on the local computer and I'm going to click save and you can see the green thing comes up here that says my setting has been updated. So now that has been set like that for perpetuity essentially and it will continue to be like that until I actually go back and change it again. So that's how to go in and set your recording so that the actual file ends up on your local computer and not in the cloud.